Welcome to the Rocking Horse Dreams. Today we're going to take a look at Kingdom Builder by Donald X. Vaccarino and produced by Queen Games. It's an abstract strategy game for two to four players wherein they compete to have the most victory points, referred to as gold, at the end of the game. Inside the box you get an awesome insert, an instruction booklet, eight boards each with a unique location on it, 40 settlements and one gold marker in each of the four player colors, five each of five terrain cards, 10 Kingdom Builder cards, 28 location tiles, 8 summary tiles, and a start player tile. To set up the game, take 4 random boards and assemble them into a rectangle. Place 4 summary tiles on their corresponding board. Place 2 corresponding location tiles on each location hex. Shuffle the Kingdom Builder cards and randomly draw 3. These are the scoring options at the end of this game and should be read and explained before the start of the game. Shuffle the terrain cards and deal 1 to each player. Also give each player their settlements, flip an unused board over to serve as a score track and place the player's gold markers on it. Give the oldest player the start player tile and play is ready to begin. On a player's turn, they have to take a mandatory action of turning over their terrain card and building three settlements into that type of terrain. Building adjacent to previously built settlements if possible, if not possible, any section of terrain of that type may be played into. If a player builds next to a location hex, they take one of the location tiles, granting them a special ability from their next turn on, which can be used once per turn before or after taking their mandatory action. The special actions allow players to build additional huts or even move huts they've already placed and are a big chunk of the strategy of the game. Players continue taking turns, placing settlements until one player has placed their last settlement, and then the turn finishes and scoring happens. All of the scoring in this game happens at the end, which is pretty interesting. Players score 3 points for each castle they build next to, and score according to the Kingdom Builder cards, which is anything from the most settlements on a board segment, points for building next to water, or building in straight lines. Whoever has the most points wins, and that's Kingdom Builder. It's a good game all around. It can feel pretty limiting, but I think the idea is to work within those limits and exploit them. It's an interesting game as almost an analog for a casual app type game. It will hold a good spot as a filler or a gateway and is ideal for those who like to learn by playing rather than lengthy rules explanations. The modularity of the boards and different scoring possibilities definitely add to the replayability and offer different paths to take to victory. It's certainly good for the whole family or for the game group. Now I'm off to design the prehistory variant.